the virgins praise the name of the Lord for his name alone is exalted his splendor is above heaven and earth in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit good evening brothers and sisters good evening Father so we are invited today by David Bayer to give thanks to God with the family for the gift of Linda, the wife, as he, she celebrates her birthday today. We want to join the family of David uh, in thanksgiving to God, in appreciation to the far God has taken the family and especially for the gift of uh, Linda, the gift of a wife, the gift of a mother, and to the children. <clears throat> and we want to join therefore all our 
uh, intentions to this one single intention to pray that God may continue to bless Linda and to support her as she grows uh, into being a wife, a mother, and a, a responsible Christian and a citizen, and that the blessings and the graces of God may always be upon her, and always she may live to have a reason to thank God and to live life that is worthy of being called a child of God. This is our intention, and uh, any other intention that we may want to bring to the Lord, we want to bring them to the altar of the Lord, knowing that uh, he has promised us that whatever we shall ask in faith, he is going to give it to us. Let us pray in faith, and especially for Linda. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. As we celebrate anew the memory of the Virgin Saint Scholastica, we pray, O oh Lord, that following her example, we may serve you with pure love and happily receive what comes from loving you. We make this our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading a reading from the book of Genesis in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens when no plant of the field was yet in the earth and no herb of the field had yet sprung up for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was no man to till the ground but a mist went up from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. Then the Lord God formed man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground the Lord God made to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to till it and keep it up. And the Lord God commanded the man saying, you may freely eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall die. The word of the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And we shall sing. Bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, 
O Lord my God, how great you are, clothed in the majesty and honor, wrapped in the light as with a robe. Bless the Lord my soul. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. You give it, they gather it up. You open wide your hand, they are well filled. Bless the Lord my soul. You take away their breath, they die, returning to the dust from which they came. You send forth your spirit, and they are created, and you renew their face of the earth. Bless the Lord my soul. truth sanctify us in the truth Jesus called the people to him again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside the man which by going into him can defile him. But the things which come out of a man are what defile him. And when he had entered the house, and left the people, his disciples asked him about the parable, and they said to them, There are you also without understanding. Do you not see that whatever goes into a man from outside cannot defile him, since it enters not his heart but his stomach, and so passes on? And he said, what comes, of, what comes out of a man is what defiles a man. Far from within, out of the heart of man comes evil thoughts, fornication, theft, murder, adultery, coveting, wickedness, deceit, licentiousness, envy, slander, pride, and foolishness. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a man. The Gospel of the Lord is to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We may ask ourselves a question. What is within you and what is within your heart? Today's gospel concludes with a list of 
vices that sadly come from within. We had a list of them that were mentioned during the proclamation of the gospel. For instance, envy, blasphemy, arrogance. And when we look at all these vices, of course, none of these vices are desirable when looked at objectively. We can say they are all quite repulsive. And yet too often, there are sins that people deal with on a regular basis to an extent or another. For instance, let us reflect on one of them, greed. When understood clearly, no one wants to be known as one who is greedy. It's a shameful attribute to have. But when greed is looked at as greed, it's easily, it's easy to fall into the trap of leaving it. One who is greedy desires an excessive amount of this or that. More money, a better house, and such like things. Thus, when a person is acting in a greedy way, greed does not seem undesirable at all. It's only when greed is looked in an objective way that it is understood for what it is. In our gospel reading today, by naming this long list of vices, Jesus does as an incredible act of mercy. He rattles us and calls us to step back and look at sin for what it is. Jesus also makes it clear that when you leave one or more of these vices, you become defiled. You become greedy, a liar, cruel, a gossiper, hateful, arrogance, etc. Objectively speaking, no one wants this. What is it, that list of vices that you struggle with most? It's a question of reflection within oneself to come up with your own understanding, to come up with your own vice that you may accept in one way or the other Christ to carry up with you. Jesus desires that your heart be pure and holy, freed from this and every filthy. But unless you are able to look at your own heart with honesty, it will be difficult to reject the sin with which you struggle. So my dear Christians, we are called upon to reflect this list and identify by our Lord which sin Christ will carry with you and will ask Lord that in his great love and mercy may he journey with us that we may be able to undergo a transformation that needs our, our self present for the glory of his name through Christ our Lord. Amen. In bread we bring you, Lord, our body's labor. In wine we offer you our spirit's 
acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from all earthly ways, and through the example of Saint Scholastica, be renewed by growth in heavenly life. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and you offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory, glory Osama in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Osama in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and, and drink this, this cup, cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, David Kamau, our apostolic administrator, the clergy, religious men and women, and all your faithful people. Remember your servant, Martin Luther, whom you called from this world to yourself, grant that he who was united with your son in the dead like his may be also one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
May you welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and particularly today as we join hands to give thanks for the gift of Linda, who is celebrating her birthday today. May you have mercy on us together uh, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, and especially Saint Scholastica, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father. Therefore, we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, we say to your apostles, and we say to each one of us, they are present this evening, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of, of the world, world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Behold Christ Jesus, the Lamb of God, be all him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to his banquet. Lord, Lord I, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body and blood of Christ, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Prayer before communion. Oh my God. I firmly believe that you are truly present in the Holy Eucharist. I confess that I am a poor sinner, and I am not worthy to receive you. But you just say a word, and I shall be healed, and then I can receive you into my soul. I am sorry for all my sins, because they have offended you, and I resolve never to commit them again. Have mercy and forgive me, Lord. I desire to receive you with my whole heart. Come into my poor soul and make my heart your Lord. Amen.
karibu moyoni mwangu karibu ungane nami karibu moyoni mwangu karibu karibu bwana karibu moyoni mwangu karibu na kukaribisha karibu Sanctify me, body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, run through my veins. Water flowing from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Let me not be separated from you. From the evil enemy, defend me. At the hour of death, call me. And bid me to come to you that with your sins I may praise you for all eternity. Amen. The five wise virgins brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Then at midnight they cry out, they wept up, Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Come out to meet Christ the Lord. Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of this fleeing world, so that following the example of Saint Scholastica, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless and protect you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We need a happy birthday song for Linda. I want to join the family of uh, David to wish a uh, happy birthday to Linda and to pray to ask for many blessings upon her and upon the family. David, do you have something? Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Linda. Happy birthday to Let us go in the peace of Christ. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. See for Mary.